Okay, this is an optional video. Um, it's just a short video to explain why the bottoms up method works. I don't like giving you something that looks like magic because uh, it's not magic, it's math. Um, so I'm going to do this just in the general case. So take a look at the general case here with me. Uh, these are two brackets. I'm going to expand them out and then we're going to use the bottoms up approach to put them back into these two brackets. So AX times CX is ACX squared and AX times D is plus ADX and B times CX is plus BCX and B times D is plus BD. Now I can combine the two middle terms this way. We've got an ACX squared out front and the two middle terms basically I'm going to take the X out as a common factor and what we have is AD plus BC times our X. So there's our coefficient of the X term plus BD. And so here is our trinomial that we're going to try and put back into these two binomials using the bottoms up approach. So remember the first step of the bottoms up approach was to take the coefficient of x squared and multiply it by the constant term. So what we're going to get is a c b d. And then we put these two things in the bottom uh, a d plus b c. Now in this case the signs are the same so we're looking for two things that multiply to ACBD and subtract or sorry add to AD plus BC. Well that's pretty easy. If I'm going to add to AD plus BC I need an AD and a BC. And signs are the same and they're both positive. That's what it says there so we need pluses here. And now the last thing is to divide by the coefficient of the x squared. So I'm going to divide both of these by AC. And then we have to reduce to lowest terms. So when I reduce to lowest terms, A divides away. And so all I'm left with is plus D over C. And over here my C's divide away, so all I'm left with is plus B over A. Now remember, we give the give the bottom back its variable, which is x in this case, and then bring the bottom up. So if I bring the bottom up, then I have cx plus d and ax plus b, which is, well, the, um, the brackets are reversed, but it's exactly the same thing as we had up here. So you can see that if I, if I do it with just the general case, this is proof that the bottoms up method is going to work every time. So it's not magic, it's math magic. Okay.